how men test women, men's secret tests and how to pass them like a pro. Ever catch yourself wondering, what is he thinking? You're definitely not alone. Men have these little tests they run to see if you're the right fit for them. It's perplexing, right? By the time you finish this guide, you'll not just understand how men test women, you'll ace them. Men aren't just dating for fun. They're looking for a partner, a partner who will stand by them and make life better, not complicated. There are shortcuts to weed out women who won't make the cut. Firstly, the interest test. It goes something like this. He showers you with texts, maybe some calls, and then suddenly radio silence. Nope, he's not busy. Nope, he's not ghosting you. He's testing you to see if you'll make the first move. Why? Because nobody wants a one-sided affair. It's as exciting as fishing in a swimming pool, pointless and boring. So make sure you toss the ball back into his court. Show interest, but maintain a balance. If you overdo it, the chase loses its charm. You might wonder why you should play along. Here's the thing. Your actions set the pace of the relationship. When you reciprocate his interest, you're letting him know you're not just in it for the thrill of being chased. You're in it for him. Think of it as a dance. You can't expect him to lead all the time while you follow. Sometimes you'll need to step up and guide him. Are you ready to skip the games and discover the guaranteed ways to attract the right man you want? Go to MatthewCoast.com and join my next workshop. Next is the girlfriend test. The question here is, can he be a man around you? Is he comfortable showing his vulnerability? Don't get confused by all the talk about gender equality. Most men still want to feel masculine in a relationship. They want to lead, provide, and protect, and they're looking for signs that you'll let them. So how do you pass the girlfriend test? It's straightforward. Let him open doors for you. Let him take the check and thank him when he does. It doesn't make you weak. It makes him feel strong, and that's crucial. By appreciating his gentlemanly gestures, you're silently telling him he's the man you've been waiting for. And believe me, that's a test you'll both want to pass. Hold on, there's more. The value test is next on our list. This one's all about how much you respect yourself. Do you set boundaries? Are you easy to get? This test looks at what kind of investment he needs to make to be part of your life. The more you value yourself, the more he'll value you. It's like supply and demand. Scarce goods are more valuable. Keep that in mind. Here's a tip. You can set boundaries without being confrontational. A soft no can be just as powerful as a hard no. The key is consistency. If you show him you're wishy-washy about your boundaries, he'll treat them as guidelines, not rules. A consistent no lets him know you're a woman with standards, and standards are something high-quality men appreciate. Fourth on the list is the appreciation test. Men are like sunflowers. They lean towards the light. If you're not showing appreciation, he'll lean away. Simple as that. Whether it's a small gift or a grand romantic gesture, how you respond tells him everything he needs to know. If he feels taken for granted, trust me, he'll stop trying. Showing gratitude isn't just about saying thank you, although that's important. It's about reciprocating. If he's putting in effort, make sure you're doing your share too. Plan a date, surprise him with his favorite snack, or even send him a thoughtful text. When he feels like you're as invested in him as he is in you, you're hitting home runs in the appreciation department. Are you ready to skip the games and discover the guaranteed ways to attract the right man you want? Go to MatthewCoast.com. And fifth is the trust test. Now we come to the trust test. This is where he takes a back seat and observes trust is earned, not given on a silver platter. If you want to pass this test, be transparent. Don't play games. Don't hide your feelings. Your honesty will be like a breath of fresh air, especially if he's used to relationships where trust was hard to come by. Building trust isn't complicated. If you're committed, just act like it. It means being there when you say you'll be there, being honest when it's easier to lie, and being trustworthy even when he's not watching. Trust is the foundation of any lasting relationship. Secure this cornerstone and you're building something that will stand the test of time. Lastly, let's delve into the safety test. It's the final but most significant hurdle. Can he be emotionally naked with you? Can he show you his insecurities without worrying about judgment? If you can provide emotional safety, you're not just passing the test, you're graduating with honors. Creating emotional safety is like building a sanctuary where both of you can be your most authentic selves. Encourage him to share, listen without interrupting, and offer comfort when he needs it. Your nurturing can turn the tides in your favor 
before you know it, he'll be more emotionally committed to you than you ever thought possible. So there you have it, the secret tests men run and how to pass them like a pro. Remember, dating is not just about finding the right person, but being the right person. Once you master these tests, you won't just be a catch, you'll be the prize. If you're struggling to attract a good man in your life and every guy seems like he's the wrong one, visit MatthewCoast.com to learn more about how we can help you attract the man you've always wanted.